and it's Sunday, so welcome to my vlog. I am in the bathroom at Cowfish Restaurant in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm going to be quiet a minute. I want you to listen to what they play in the bathroom here at Cowfish. You learn Japanese. You you hear Southern sayings, and then they teach you how to say it in Japanese. This is hysterical. Okay, I'll I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, we're still in Charlotte. Um, my boys are in a Sam Ash music store. You know, I'm not musically inclined. I don't play an instrument. I'm not at all interested in going in there. I'm tired. So I'm sitting in the car in the parking lot. Here at Sam Ash is behind me and Costco is in front of me. And that's where we're at. Um, we went to the South Park Mall and you guys would be surprised. I only bought myself two things. Oh, let me see if I can get them out. I shopped at the Disney store. So I'll, I'll do a little haul for you while we're sitting in the car. Um, let me see if I can get this open. I got this for my niece Meredith for Christmas. She got Chewbacca. So I got Chewbacca. Whoops. I got for Elizabeth, my favorite princess, I got Ariel. There's Ariel. And then the next two I got for me. And I got Jack Skellington, because I love Jack Skellington. And I also got Christmas Jack. Uh, they were all $12 today. Can you believe that? So I got four plushes at 12 each. And then Nathan picked out a an Aven Avengers mug. Um, he's into Thanos the bad guy from the Avengers. So, whoops. Ah, oh, I can't get all this stuff I can. So, yeah. Uh, then we went to Lego store and Nathan got Legos. And we went to let's get Chewbacca here. We went to um, I went into Lush. I'm sorry, I keep trying. Let me just get these guys in the bag. And get the bag back in the back before I give you all. Ah. Okay, uh, so I got everything back in the bag. Um, we went to um, the Lego store and Nathan got Legos. We went to Lucky Brand. And Nathan got a couple of t-shirts. One was uh, Queen, the band Queen, and one was Friday the 13th. And the lady caught me outside of that store with, she gave me a sample and then she's put stuff under my eye. And now you can't really tell, but it really messed up my makeup. I didn't, I don't know why I said yes. I've said yes to that before. And I'd already turned down to other people doing the same thing. Why do I do that? I don't know. So, yeah. And then let's see. I went in Lush. I don't know. I have this weird. I love bath products. And you would think I would love Lush. Sorry, my arm's getting tired. You would think I would love Lush. I'm just not a big fan of Lush. And it was a small store, it was very crowded. A lot of men standing around with their wives or girlfriends or whatever, just in the freaking way. And I just felt like saying, just move, just move so I can see. And I was in there maybe a minute or two and I'm like, okay, no, I'm not buying anything. I just need to leave. Nothing really wowed me saying, oh, I got to have this to take a bath. <laughs> so yeah, I left Lush. Um, I didn't even go in Sephora. Can you believe that? Can you believe I didn't even go in Sephora? Didn't didn't step foot in the Sephora. 
One I ordered from Sephora last night. I was in there playing around and they had my contour shade and I needed that. And what else did I buy? I know I didn't buy just my contour shade from Kat Von D. So yeah, I felt like I didn't need to go into Sephora. I've done so much shopping lately. I didn't need it. And we walked around, uh, went in some shoe stores for the guys. Nathan's the one who made out like a bandit. We went to Second and Charles, which is a, I don't, I know it's a chain because there's one in Greenville, but there's not one in Asheville, but there's one here in Charlotte. And they have, you know, everything, books, music, uh, DVDs, new and used books and music and all that stuff and uh, collectibles and so Nathan ended up with like five books. What else did he get? He got a movie. He got, uh, yeah, Jackie Brown. <laughs> and, oh, comics, he got some comics. And then my husband got three books and then uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel DVD. So yeah, and I got nothing. I've not really, I've done enough shopping online here recently that I just there's nothing I really want I didn't see anything I wanted and it kind of shocks me but um, we've had fun in Charlotte we're going to um, when they get done and I told them to take their time I didn't really care I'm just sitting here so when they get done um, we're gonna hit the interstate and head on back I'm debating whether I want to go through Gaffney at the outlet stores but you know, I, th I don't think I really want anything. I don't really think I need to do any more shopping. I'm just not in that mood. Cowfish was great. I should have filmed more in there. I always feel kind of funny filming inside of like restaurants and stuff, even though we sat outside. It was, it was busy, of course. Cowfish is always busy. Cowfish is amazing. They're in North Carolina, just in Charlotte and Raleigh. They are in Atlanta now and they are in Orlando at City Walk at Universal. And I don't know if they're anywhere else, but they started here in Charlotte and they have burgers and they had sushi. And I took a picture of Nathan's food. I'll insert it here. Um, his is a cheeseburger sushi. It's a, it's a cheeseburger in sushi form and he loved it he loved it so yeah I had sushi and Brian had a burger they have the best food at Cowfish it's worth the drive here for us to get to Charlotte takes uh, around an hour and a half depending on traffic and depending on who's driving when Brian's driving it's an hour and a half it doesn't take long to get to Charlotte um, we come to Charlotte quite often just like probably go to Greenville a little more often but we do come to Charlotte quite often and uh, we always hit the same places usually but that's okay it's been a fun day even though we didn't get to go I didn't get to go to Atlanta it would have been a great weekend for Atlanta uh, if we I might film a little in the car just some of the road so you guys can see I filmed a little coming into Charlotte this morning it was foggy but I did film some of that and I will probably put that in at the beginning of this video. You probably will see that. And then, um, yeah, I'll do some more filming on our way home. And I will either check in with you again today or probably I will check in with you later, maybe tomorrow. We'll just see how the week goes. So, okay, guys, see you later.
everybody, it's Patricia, and it's uh, Tuesday. Yeah, I didn't um, film yesterday. I just filmed this look, and I had filmed another video. I'm now uh, uploading my video or importing. My son would get, you know, really be mad if I got it wrong. Importing my video into the computer so I can edit it. These videos will be seen um, later. One was a Halloween look, and that's going up on Saturday, same as usually this video goes up on Saturday. And that's on my Finding My Tiara channel, which is linked down below. Uh, this eye look, it'll go up sometime next week. I don't know when yet. Um, I've got my BoxyCharm coming, and I think my Ipsy has shipped as well. And when those uh, come in, I film those really quick and try to get those up as soon as possible. So sometimes that means, like if I do videos with eye looks or something, those get pushed to another day. So I don't want to tell you what day this look will be on because right now I don't know. But I will have it edited and ready to go. Um, let's see, anything changing going on? We were going to try to do the Haunted Trolley Tour on Wednesday. Don't think that's going to happen. Uh, my husband's going to go over on Wednesday and help his father. Um, he's going to do uh, yard work and stuff like that. Unless it rains, which we're supposed to get like that Hurricane Michael is coming up through Panhandle of Florida. And it'll come up this way, but it won't be anywhere near as bad as when it hits the actual coast. We, we, we're a little farther away. So, um, oh, no, it's not all in yet. So, um, yeah, it'll be just rain. It'll be rain. But uh, if it's raining, I don't want to take the trolley tour either. I mean, you don't sit in a trolley with it raining and, you know, remnants of a hurricane. So, yeah, we, yeah that won't happen this week. Uh, and I'm okay with that. That's fine. Um, probably maybe try for the following week uh, when Brian's off. See if we can't do that. Thursday is chemistry. And also uh, the decision has been finally made to paint pumpkins that day. So everybody will be there but my brother-in-law who has to work. But uh, Brian's off that day. So uh, chemistry class then painting pumpkins and dinner at my mother-in-law's and she says it's just gonna be something simple so it probably won't be much um not much anyway that i could eat or i don't know what she'll end up with who knows i'm not gonna worry about it um and let's see and i've got that my videos are in there we go let me hang on a second i'm gonna Try to do my stuff one-handed. I'm in the studio. So all this mess behind me, it's Brian Peaks. I can't do that. I'll have to do that later. Brian Peaks mess is behind me. Um, so anyway, that's, that's about all that's going on. I, I wish things were, this is my life. I'm back to normal. This is normal, normal C. Um, I will take you with me on Thursday and try to do some filming uh, the, of the at least the pumpkin painting because that might be interesting. Um, my in-laws don't like pumpkin carving because it makes too much of a mess. So they just do pumpkin painting. And hey, it's okay. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. If Nathan wanted to carve a pumpkin, we would do it. He usually he did. I don't know. We'll see what he says. If he wants to carve one, we'll go buy one and he can carve it here because I don't care how much mess it makes. Uh, anything else? No. It's, I'm sorry. Boring. My life is, my real life is boring. Mm, and I'm not sure about this lip. That's okay, but I'm not sure about it. So, anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to edit these videos so I can have at least the, uh, the makeup one, uh, the Halloween one up for Saturday for you. So I will check in with you guys later. If I don't check in tomorrow, I definitely will on Thursday. So see you guys later. 
Hey guys, I just uh, popped back on here. I am still editing videos that I filmed today, but I just got a call about my mammogram and they found something. So I have to go back on Monday and have more tests run. Um, I'm You're always worried when you hear something like that, but every time I have a mammogram, this, this happens. I have to go back in. I have to go back in. Now this time I'm hoping it is again nothing major and well because we're getting so close to the cruise I don't want this year to be a total wipeout but so just keep good thoughts and keep me in your thoughts and prayers and and I, I hope this again it just turns out to be nothing. So I just wanted to let you guys know because I just found out and uh, yeah so I will see you guys later. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am antique shopping. It is raining outside. Um, sorry about my hair. My hair got wet. We went out to lunch, and now we're in the antiques mall shopping. I found some earrings, and they're half off, and they were like five bucks, so cool. So I'm just looking around, and yeah, we're not going to go do the ghost tour tonight because it is raining. And so I'll, I'll film a little bit and let you guys see what I'm looking at. But uh, yeah, tomorrow is pumpkin painting, chemistry, and dinner at my in-laws. So I will see you guys in a little bit. They're all divided up by color. Wow. Oh, look. That's a caftan. 60s for $24. Yeah, I don't think so. Woo! Look at this. That's my prom dress. <laughs> you know what? I like that painting. I actually like that. April in Paris. It's number nine out of 150 prints. Huh. I like it. It's not for sale, though, I don't think. The Black Room. Whoa. Huh. My mother wore hats. Oh, she always wore hats. My, okay. Yep. She always wore her hats uh, to church. So when I see hats like that, I think of my mom. She was known for her hats and her gloves. Look at this. Pretty cool. If I was a skinny little thing, I'd probably buy some of these gloves. Shine and bling. And those scream 80s. Wow. Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Is it a happy Thursday? 
I don't know. Um, we are officially under a tropical storm warning because of Michael. But uh, the wind's not that bad. Uh, we've had a lot of steady, heavy rain. Uh, we do have flash flood warning out there, but um, we've had water running down the street. So I'm sure there's areas that have flooded. Uh, I don't know how bad, but I don't think it's that bad. I truly don't think it's that bad. Um, we are on the west side of the storm. It didn't come right over us. It's hitting more towards the middle of uh, North Carolina. So we just got like, we've got the edge, but we got not like very fringes. We're, we, we got it. I mean, they wouldn't have a warning if we didn't have it, but I think that warning's about to expire. Um, I was nice today and I sent a text to my sister-in-law and asked her if she'd like some apples because I have, still have a bunch of apples in my refrigerator. And, uh, I thought, well, I'll take her a bag or two because I put them all in, um, Ziploc bags and each bag holds about nine medium-sized apples and they will last quite a while. Your apples will last in a Ziploc bag in the bottom of your refrigerator. And we found that to be true last year. They told us when we went to pick uh, uh, apples last year. And so that's why we got a bushel this time. So yeah, I've been making a lot of apple pie. I'm tired of apple pie. So I thought I would take my sister-in-law some. So I sent a text just to her and said, hey, would you like some apples? and never heard back. Next thing I know, there's a group text to me and to my mother-in-law <clears throat> stating that she had to cancel chemistry and pumpkin painting because, oh good, my video, let me do my thing and talk to you guys at the same time. I can't see, too far away. But she canceled today because of the tropical storm and we're like okay well all right then if that's what you think you need to do um mom i didn't chime in to the conversation my mother-in-law wrote her back and said uh she said oh, well if um you know if that's what you think you have to do then that's fine we will reschedule everything and then my mother-in-law immediately texted me just me and said that she was having quesadillas tonight and we could still come over and if Nathan wants to paint his pumpkin tonight he certainly can and take it home and that's what we're going to do because when I told Nathan about what Laura said about having to cancel you could just sit in his face he was like and I said, but grandma wants us to come on over and you can go ahead and paint your pumpkin. So he was happy. There you go. When will I see Laura again? What's going on? I haven't spoken to her since the whole thing about not going to Atlanta. Oh, well, I don't know what's going on. Family drama. This happens about once a year, maybe, or once every couple of years. I will admit, my sister-in-law and I are not the closest. We are not the closest. And we are just total opposites. Complete, total opposites. There's nothing about us that is alike. If we were not sister-in-laws, we probably wouldn't be friends. So, yeah. Anyway, so I've got to go now and I've got to edit my chatty get ready with me. I filmed that this morning. I just edited my target box, which I'm going to get um, finished, do all the tags and all that stuff and make a thumbnail and put that up today. I'm going to go ahead and release that. I like to get my, um, my subscription boxes up as soon as possible. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put target up today and then have the chatty get ready with me for tomorrow. And I, I do want to go to Best Buy later. We got, my husband has a huge monitor he bought a year, a little over a year ago to use with his computer for his, 
photography. But he finds the color is different. The color is off. And he's worked with it, and it's just not, the color's not right for him and his photography. So he asked me if I wanted the big, I mean, it's, it's bigger than that monitor. It's huge. And I said, yeah. So we hooked it up. Well, he hooked it up this morning. No sound. I don't know what's going on as far as sound goes. So I hooked, he hooked my old monitor back up and um, we might have to get external uh, headphone, uh, speakers. Ah, I can't think. External speakers maybe for it. Anyway, I will, we'll, we're going to do that later today. Go to Best Buy. Because I don't have to be at my mother-in-law's early because there's no chemistry class. So, yeah, we'll go to Best Buy. We will go to my mother-in-law's. Nathan will paint his pumpkin. And we'll come out. That's what we'll do. I will take you along and try to show some pumpkin painting with Nathan. I'll try. And, uh, yeah. So, I will see you guys later. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. I am doing this mask I got in my BoxyCharm. This thing's a total gimmick. It's a... Believe me, it's not worth $30. I've got this l lace piece that, um... This is just a joke. It's a piece of lace. Oops, I'm sorry if I touched you. It's a piece of stretchy lace. Just a little bit. Just a piece of cloth. And you put this goopy peel-off mask on. And then you put this on as a compression. Well, let me tell you, it is not... My nose is... It's touching here and then it's spread out. So it's not even on my nose. It's not even, uh, it's not working. This is just crap. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with this. It is definitely not worth $30. It's going to be interesting when I try to peel this sucker off. But yeah, not interested in this mask. Ugh. I hate gimmicks. I hate gimmicks. It's all right if they work. This one's not working. I don't see any reason why we need this lace on. Compression, it's not, it's not. The only place I feel compression is behind my ears from the mask. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not happy with this. Um, I didn't film going to my in-laws last night for pumpkin painting because Nathan ended up not painting his pumpkin. He just had, like, painter's block. He didn't know what he wanted to put on his pumpkin. Um, so, maybe... Next week, he may be going over and spend some days with Grandpa. Grandpa thinks he'll be ready to be out and about and hitting the road next week. So, probably he will. So, Nathan might spend a few days with him. So, maybe he'll paint his pumpkin while he is there. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, anything else? No. Um, Brian's working this weekend. So he's at work now. So I won't be really going anywhere this weekend. Uh, no plans to do anything. Um, I've got some more stuff coming in today. My Ipsy bag is supposed to be here today. So I will probably film this afternoon and edit and put them up. Um, I'll put up the Ipsy when it comes. And then I'll have some other videos to film. This lace is irritating under my eyes. That part's irritating. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I don't like this. So anyway, um, like I said, this is boring. So I'm going to go and I'm going to edit this video and get it up for tomorrow morning for you. Um, I hope it's not going to be too boring for you, but, um, uh, this is, this is life with me. And I have got a messy, messy messy desk here. I mean, I'm looking at mess. I've got another haul video for you from Ulta and Sephora. I bought a few things. I don't know. I'll tell you why. I bought uh, from Ulta to hit the next uh, level up. I'm, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm diamond, I think. What is it? Where it is. I'm not the top one. I'm, I hit the next level up. 
So I purchased, I needed like $26 to hit that mark. So I ordered a few little things. And then uh, I got my refill for my uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I really needed the refill. So I bought a few things while I was in Sephora on their site. And I will do a little haul. It's not going to be a big haul. It's just a few little things. And I'll haul those, and that haul will be coming up sometime next week. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope you're enjoying these um, weekly vlogs. Uh, I'll try to make them more uh, exciting when I have more exciting things going on. But um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.